Hey, what's up, Neil? I got like a super important question uh, for you that I've been wondering like my whole life. Okay, is the world round or flat? Because if so, if the if the world is round, why isn't the water falling out into the space, out into space? Nikal, you ask a very important question. This concept had eluded all of humanity for centuries. Everyone thought Earth was flat, why? Because it looked flat. And they posed the same arguments you did. If it was round, stuff would fall off on the other side. You can't have people standing upside down on a round Earth. Here's the thing, we thought Earth was flat before we had sea-going vessels that went beyond the horizon, recognizing that there has to be a curve there because the ship doesn't always stay in view. So Columbus, when he set sail, the ship eventually disappeared. And you can chase after him and you can keep disappearing. You can keep doing this. This would count as evidence that Earth's surface was curved. But what about... Up ...without the need of curvature, or without the need of a physical obstruction for that matter. Now you Globers are going to sit at home and say that table is just higher than the observer height or the camera height. Now let's get that sorted quick smart. When we zoom in, we increase the focal length and increase the angular resolution. And we can resolve that coin in its entirety. As you can see, the bottom of the coin shining But what about the water? How come it's not just spilling off? We had to come to a deep understanding of gravity. We had to come to a deep understanding of gravity. We had to come to a deep understanding of gravity. What is gravity? We have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> Wow. No, here's the difference. We can describe gravity. Okay. We can say what it does to other things. We can, we can measure it, predict with it. But when you start asking, like, what it is, I, I, I don't know. Gravity just doesn't, doesn't pull just straight down. Gravity pulls towards the center of the Earth in every direction. So you can walk around to, quote, the bottom of the Earth. Gravity is pulling up towards it. Water here, towards the center of the Earth. Water here, towards the center, towards the center. And the Earth is big enough so you think it's flat. But if you step away, like the Apollo astronauts did, there is the beautiful globe. that is Earth, adrift in space. Now, if you want to think Earth is flat, but you know the moon is round and the sun is round, and through a telescope all the other planets are round, you're stuck drawing a solar system with a round sun and a round Mercury, a round Venus, flat Earth, round Mars, round Jupiter, round Saturn, round everything else. That's kind of untenable. So anyhow, it's because we understand gravity, it's because we understand gravity, it's because we understand gravity. But when you start asking, like, what it is, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So anyhow, it's because we understand gravity that we know Earth is round. Plus we have photographs.